Yeah, when watching. you try to call someone or your internet doesn't work. And they're not in your phone book. Because, like, all of a sudden, you can't contact anybody. You feel isolated. Like, small, so fucking small, isolated. Small, like, small, like here I was with, like, even with 60 pay people. Phone, nobody remembers oh, yeah. phone numbers anymore. Oh, yeah, even if you had there. the phone, you couldn't call anybody. Yeah. But it's like, here you are trying to call, like, your parents or whatever to let them know you're alright or whatever. Yeah. And, like, you don't have cell service, you don't have internet, you don't have any of this fucking shit. There's no better way to make people feel isolated than take away that. Because it really, it, it's weird because it takes down your your, your your communication from the world down to a block. And you're so used down to it. To the top you of can't room. tweet it, you can't Facebook right. it, you can't call somebody, you can't text somebody. You're literally you're just like yourself. Left who's, your yeah, who, who's next to me if and you we're all it, would you be like the second tower just went down LOL. Yeah. <laughs> no, you'd probably take a photo and put it on Instagram add a filter or something. Oh yeah. No, that would. Make it, I, I have to ask this because I'm genuinely curious. I, I remember, I, I remember specifically at that time, uh, the, the initial news was like, if you listen to a lot of the, 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 you know, the radio broadcast or, or uh, you know, how it's turned to fucking anybody who was, or, you know, CNN or whatever, whatever was going on at that point, oh, yeah, yeah, initially yeah. everybody thought it was an accident. And what, I'm asking, what, what, what point, what point did it dawn on you? When the second tower got hit, everyone, I think everybody knew, and not only that, but we had, like I said, we had the TV up there. Yeah. And once the second tower People got hit, went immediately. I mean, how, how immediate was it before you went? Okay. Um, it was it was fairly clear, but it wasn't exactly. So what happened was is that we were looking at a screen that had the twin towers hit, and then all of a sudden, the screen on the news went split screen, and they showed the Pentagon. <laughs> As soon as we saw the Pentagon with the plane hitting the side of it, everybody on the roof was yeah. like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Half the roof cleared out and ran down and got water. It's, it was like, as soon as that fucking happened, there was no fucking question. And at that point, I actually started, I have a tape somewhere in my boxes, it's called Black Tuesday. And it's just a cassette tape where I just popped it into one of our stereos and of course record as the news was playing. And it was just, what, you reacting to it? No, not me at all. Oh, you recorded, you recorded. I just recorded like radio stations. Okay. So it was like your favorite rock band radio station press record during 9-11 in New York. And it was like all of these guys. Dude, no, like that was exactly that out. was what everything was. I was everything on, was dedicated to it. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. I, I remember I was sleeping on the couch and my dad called me and he said, uh, "Turn on the TV." Yeah. And I said, "Okay, what station?" He said, "It doesn't matter." <laughs> yeah. really and bad. I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, yeah even in so Ireland. I've I've that. I've heard that story several times. My my mom the same thing. My aunt called her and said, "Turn on the news. What's it? Doesn't matter." It was everywhere. Even it was it was also yeah. Like, does, country, when somebody says it doesn't matter, that's bad. Wake up. Yeah. yeah, like what my mom, like I lived in Ireland, in Galway, in Ireland, some remote area, and my mom was like, I remember it, it happened. My mom kept like, she was on the phone. She's like, "Is it the end of the world? Is it the end of the world?" This <laughs> well, is fucking context. Context. And you're an island. <laughs> my parents bought a bunch of fucking pot noodles because no, we'd have to hide them. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, shit. For context. And he's an island too. Wait, yeah. your parents bought pot noodles yeah. for you to hide underground in Ireland. Yep. Because of what yeah, was happening thought, in that I water. They were buying them to they send literally us. Thought, they, they thought the whole world was going to be World War Three. Yeah, the next day. Gonna be oh, that was actually that That's was fair. actually we the biggest concern. Because look, I mean, at this point, this point, I was if, 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 you, if you think of the context. 2001, the U.S. is like the biggest military power in the world. It still, it still is. But the Pentagon got hit. The Pentagon. Yeah. Today, that, that that's unimaginable. But the fucking it Pentagon just, got hit. It was weird when it started out though, because when I was listening to Stern live, when they said a plane. Hit yeah, the you building, said you were actually listening. They to thought it was there. a they, because they were of the, laughing the at vastness it. of the building. They thought it was a small plane that hit the right. The and that was initially what was said. It. And they were kind of they were almost laughing about plane. it. You listen to that Howard Stern thing live? Yeah. I watched it recently on YouTube, like two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Like Stutter and John came in the studio and he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost like. They're almost like taking it lightly. Oh, a little plane hit like the building. They're like a little plane hit the building. And, and I, I think around, this, around the time like, the second tower gets hit, they start going to yeah, like, you know, like, oh, we're under oh, attack. It's these fucking, it's, you know, whatever. He's like, well, what do you think, Robert? She's like, oh, that's nasty. It is nasty. What's crazy is about that day is. Fucking Artie's like, ugh. Not to dwell this way, but what's crazy about that day is if you listen to all those broadcasts, it's like, okay, things got worse continually. First tower gets hit, second tower gets hit. I think Pentagon get hit, first tower collapse, second tower collapse. It was like d things every like hour yeah. were, were happening worse and worse. I was driving home when they mentioned the Pentagon thing, and I'm like, my man, my stomach was in knots. Like, Jesus well, that wasn't even yeah. the last one. Your then they they nuts, did mention man. that thing out in, um, <laughs> like where was it, Oklahoma or uh, Ohio? <laughs> hey, where the what? fuck hey, was it? I, which place? Uh, that, that one mean? plane that went down. That was here, dude. That was fucking Pennsylvania. Oh, was it Pennsylvania? It was PA. Apparently, they say it was. Being an emotional wreck. They say that Pennsylvania play was meant for the White House or meant for. Oh, it was on its way. But yeah, then yeah, they yeah. brought it down. Yeah. But yeah, well, yeah, the people fucking. You got 
gotta admit though, they did a good job. They orchestrated that pretty well. They killed um, a lot of people. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> next question. Yeah, Hitler did a good good job too, right? Yeah, not bad. Right. So, Pentagon got it. <laughs> I actually didn't know yeah. It's the night. It's 9/11, dude. Yeah, dude. The Yo, this is the politics hour. Move on. Corey, like, that's really offensive because I lost a friend in 9/11. I, All right. The question is what and just to answer, the just to answer the question, <laughs> a really good place to eat at, in New York is Subway. Thank okay, you. no, no, no. Actually, that McDonald's, dude. Hold on, they got crazy for us, dude. Dude, places. Oh. If you want, if you want good Chinese food, there's two places. You gotta get. You either go to Sammy's, and that's on Six. That's the America, the Avenue of Chinese America. He's not talking about restaurants. restaurants. He was just so talking about places. Oh, dude. Yeah, places to visit in New York. Yeah, and then the other place though. is Flushing, where they have awesome Chinese and dim sum. It is an awesome place to have Chinese food. It is. Of course, you're going to say the Chinese food, but pizza is what people really go to New York you for. You know what? and Peppers you know what, honestly, is the best place you know what, honestly, to get Honestly, I gotta agree with Niall. Do I have to crack on New York pizza, pizza, pizza one more so time? Good. Yeah, and none of y'all ever went to fucking Flushing. I know what I do. Hey, Flushing. Don't cross the streets. Jake Duncan. Jake Duncan asks. Stamper, any up updates on new music? Fat Refund was amazing. Can't wait for more noises from your vocal. Oh! Teams. Do I have some surprises for you, my friend? You awesome. Great answer. Trevor Wood asks, do you guys ever dive into some of the more expansive metal genres? Oh! Such as do I have black some black metal? For you, my friend. Um, <laughs> does. Yeah, Dark Fortress, folk metal, um... Corpic Land and Ensif or Pirate Metal Ale Storm. You know what? Yeah, let me uh, reverse this question and say recommend us some bands. Yeah, All right, there we go. Yeah, Next do. one. Immediately. Yeah, Trevor Wood. That sounds very interesting. Just, just, I think he did by sending those examples. We'll check them out. Thanks, Trevor. Thanks, Next, Trevor. Wrinkly Wiener Kenneth asks. Wrinkly <laughs> Wiener, I know him. <laughs> if you could A, travel back in time and change something you regret doing, not doing, or B, travel to the future and see how your life will be at any given time, die. which would you choose? I can't make any sense of that I question. Can you, can you like, simplify that a little bit? All right. Would you rather go back and change something or go in the future and see something? This is oh, what Zach okay. said. Zach had a really good point. I would rather Here. see to the point where I die. I'd see the day I die. I'd see how old I get. Yeah, the day I die. Yeah, but if you knew... Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't want to see, see the day you die. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to see, see I want to see if I made a mistake at any point and how I can fix it in the past. mess with temper mechanics like this. Listen, shut up, Doc Brown. Listen, if there's time travel involved, the fucking rule book is ripped apart and thrown out the like, door. No, are you that uh, worried about the day you I'm die that you have to go I'm see not, it because you're afraid? I never said I was worried. I said I was curious on the day I die. I don't I care. See it and maybe try to prevent it because if I die, I don't hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Whatever. That's what Coy and I did, bro. I want to want to prevent it. I want to see my. Okay, do I die I, at 30? Do I die at 80? I don't want to die. That's so fucking selfish, guys. Listen, I don't want to see that I die at 20. You guys are so. Paranoid and petrified, it's fucking hard. Well, what would no. you do? What would no. you do? Mike would go back. No, wait, what would you do? Hold on, first time you fucking oh, no. turned the house into a little baby shot. Shut up. up. All of you, shut the fuck up. Second Great. question is MDFA, what would you change? Oh, There's like, gotta be change involved if you go to the past. You know what I would change? The question. Hold on, hold on. What's your answer? I don't know. Oh, come I was on, gonna man. say something about traveling back in time and seeing how many of you I could prevent from being born, but that's it. <laughs> so that's Jeff, Jeff, actually, Jeff is the only person I genuinely ask this to. Jeff, you're saying If that. you went back in time, yeah. if you could go, no, sorry, if you go into the future and you yeah. could see how you die, yeah. what are you eating, Nick? My trail mix? My fucking trail mix? I'm eating it all, by the way. If you went into the future and you could see how you died. And now it's going right to his tits, I'm gonna be careful. Would you change it? Let's say you saw it's yourself die world. tragically. It's inevitable, it's gonna be a terrible death. What, what if no, I'm just like, saying, if you saw it, in the, let's say in the future you saw that you somehow slipped in the bathtub and broke your head yeah, and had yeah. this one date. Yeah. You'll make this final destination. Would you do anything to prevent it or would you just be like, oh, that's it? I don't want to die. I don't want to die terribly. Hey, my but, point, oh, I'm a pussy for wanting to change how my fucking outcome? Would I die like Nobody that? said that, Corey! No, no, he did uh, not say that. He didn't say that. You know you're gonna die terribly. Say, I didn't I say that. Die when I'm 80, you know what I'm talking I come back about. If I time. saw what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, you saw how you died. It yeah. was tragic. Do you want to change it? I don't care. Next question. 
Hey, hey, I just realized uh, one of us are gonna like in this room are gonna die first. Yeah. Who do you think it would be? Uh, maybe the Emperor or Cory. Oh no. What's going on? Why me when I'm sucking up like, power tools at night? Uh, <laughs> I I don't know. I just I don't I don't know. Like either. <laughs> Stamper is either gonna like I don't know what he's gonna do. He might yeah, do something. I'm bored. He'll get really drunk late at night. Go for a late night drive and run into somebody, or Corey's gonna like walk into oncoming traffic. Yeah, you know me. Out. See, you that's where you're wrong. I, I pick up. I'm like, I'm like, hold on. I need to clear the earwax out of my ear, so I take a fucking screwdriver and stick it in and hope I get everything. Like I never baby. said that. That's well, what that you use tools for? No, I'm assuming you guys are calling me mouth breathing retard. Nobody said that. I'm assuming that I died from someone who's practically. Dead now? <laughs> Fuck you! No, no, dude, it's always retarded. Like, you know the dude that, like, that fight, he treats his body like shit for years? He always lives to be like eight or nine. That's right! Yeah. Yeah. Do, do You're course, like, course, and course, then all the paranoid people that make sure they have the, they count their macros and they worry about <laughs> calories and you know what's weird? And they I die at like 36. Get a fucking aneurysm. No, I hear stories about people like George Burns who live until like fucking 90s. 90. 90. Cigar, 98, who smoke cigars and drink a fucking margarita or fucking martini until the day they die every day, and then I hear about people who are 35 who die of lung cancer who jog every day who've never smoked a fucking it's, cigarette. It's genetics, yeah. I think a lot of it is genetics. That's fucking 30 from lung cancer. I can't even imagine Corey dying. I imagine like Corey could be hit by, hit by a bus, every day the bus would die, but Corey would I'm die. Saying, I'm saying Corey's like one of those fucking babies from like the Warner Bros. cartoons where he's walking across the I'm gonna turn into the. I would be the first T1 hundred million. No, I just imagine Corey turning into the next Flash version that we actually want to use. Well, and all of a sudden, it's just like this AI. Imagine Corey's fucking terminated. Yeah. Like, What'd you, you say? I'm gonna like, give me all your cereal boxes. <laughs> Are you serious, cereal Carter? Box? Give me all your cereal Did boxes. Did you ever have... Terminator cereal? I know for a fact. <coughs> they had Batman cereal, they had Bill and Ted cereal. They had Ninja Turtle cereal, they had... It's funny too because Terminator 2 was an R.A. movie and they're just selling toys and cereal. <laughs> they were. And me, no, definitely lunchboxes for sure. Well, you know what's another really silly fuck shit about that? Back you know, in the day, nobody really gave a shit if kids watched rated R movies. Robocop was fucking uh, R. Robocop yeah. was super R. That was... Do you remember when you did get toys and cereal? And you would get toys like Of course. You get toys like And your parents are like, you're not buying that box of cereal no, no. just because you're gonna get to the bottom and get no, that no. toy. No, I mean like the toy is like a plastic spoon or like a little bowl or I, something I used like, to buy cracker jacks for them. Cracker jacks, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, actually came with They're like American toys. Kinder Eggs. They were like the ones that came with like the fun toy. They, they were fun. They came with like stickers and decals or <laughs> There was little things that you snap together, like four or five parts. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's weird about Robocop? What? I remember watching it with, um, I was at my friend's house and he had three kids and they were like 12, uh, 10, and 8. Yeah. And I was like, go into the fucking living room and just watch a movie. And they put on Robocop. <laughs> and I, I didn't even think anything, because I was trying to work. Yeah. And they all watched Robocop and they thought that it was a fucking amazing movie. They loved it. Their mom came home and fucking chewed me out and shit because dudes were getting blown <laughs> apart. But what was weird about that was... Was I watched Robocop really late in life. I never really saw it as Me a too. kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a couple of pieces of it. Oh, I saw. I but saw. when I was older, I watched it for the first time, and it made me sick. I was like, Jesus Christ, it's dude! Fucking this movie brutal. Is, so that's one thing my parents brutal, they, they let me watch. But it's, it was a weird split difference where like I watched tons of rated R movies, but yeah. then I finally watched Robocop later, and I was like, Fuck, what did <laughs> I See, do? See, there's what, a difference alien? between rated R movies and other rated R movies because I hear so many stories of yeah, my mom left me at home by myself to watch Poltergeist. Geist, or fucking Freddy Krueger, or or well, fucking... Robocop is different. Robocop is fucking like, real. It's just like movie, yeah, that's true. But... Brutal. Man, we watched. We ran Robocop the second it came out on tape. It was a fam the family movie night. Was it? Was it? Was it, was it, was it <laughs> Robocop? I was, I was in like fifth grade. This Wizard. explains a lot. And then yeah. like the first five minutes, the dude's getting blown apart. And they're like, no. Was it, was it, was it, fucking, yeah. was it like the unrated? Uh, yeah, all, it, it, oh no, it was. Super it, was uh, it wasn't the goriest version. They released that afterward. But, hey, yeah, by the way, this sucks. But you can't buy that anywhere on DVD. Pretty much, they don't sell. Anywhere. You have it on DVD? Yeah. Really? Where'd you get suck it? on that, Zach? I you got little it. Yeah. Yeah. So like, it. I got it. It was, it was at it was at some convention. They were selling bootleg movies. Oh my god! Yeah. I want to try it on eBay. Everybody All I remember is the to... scene in the in the boardroom where the team with the, the DVD yeah that was, that that's a scene where you know he's shooting, shooting the guy for like five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's loading up. He's just just fucking a million It's like unbelievable. <laughs> he says it's a fucking yeah. malfunction. Yeah. Was he a glitch? So they don't sell that. 
No, you can't. I don't care. Zach, you need to it's the most A, meet more black movie. people, and B, really? carry more <laughs> money in your pocket. Yeah, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Speaking and C, walk around the city streets speaking, where there's no D, speaking get the fuck of shield. black people, uh, Harwin A asks, when do you think the Muslims will finally take over Europe? Uh, five years. Look at France. No, I give it. I give it thirty years. Muslims? No, I'd say I'd say about ten. So don't I, look. Like, I don't think France is fair. You got to look at all of year. Europe. Well, it does. I think France, France and Jews too. England, I think, will probably be taken over in about ten. But uh, Germany and all this. Yeah, well, no, Germany, be, no way, dude. Uh, they, 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 I think they have like they have a fucking what's it called, Pedigo, whatever, Pagino, whatever the fuck. Yeah. They, they have groups specifically dedicated to that now. I think. All right. So Europe's done. All right. Next. Ryan Crowley asks, at some point, have you ever contemplated giving up your trades because of a struggle to find creative motivation? Not motivation. Have you ever thought of giving up your creative trade because you were struggling in your motivation? No, no. I, I never lose motivation. I mean, maybe a lack of early on, maybe like, no, but it, it, no, it never deterred me. Answer is no. Yeah, no. We're not just going to bail on it and go run and do something else. That's not the question he was asking. That is the question. You need to ask it from his point of view. Like, maybe he's feeling that. That's why he asked you. Yeah, that. no, I agree. Um, I suffer from real bad ADD, and, uh, like, ever since I moved to America, I haven't been on meds or anything, and it's been really hard for me to actually focus on anything, like, and it's really tough because, like, you know, I'm living with these guys who are really creative and shit, and I can't, like, uh... Actually, just like focus on one thing, and you know, you know, I could help you, you guys. Could like actually guide me in. I had no idea. Ways. Wait, yeah, you did. Well, I think I did. Didn't. no, I didn't. Oh, really? I had no idea this was a thing. Oh no, this is a real thing. No, um, and uh, so like it's really hard for me to actually get motivation and stuff because I, I just can't think of like one thing for more than five seconds. A lot of people have this problem. And yeah, see, actually, th that's the thing. You can't beat yourself up ever, but I feel like everybody has problems, especially when it comes to creative shit. Yeah. So you can't, like, everybody feels bad about everything they do, and it's always like this constant well, and I'll say struggle. this too, maybe if you're not, maybe if you, you know, everyone has a, a weak spot with creativity, so maybe you're, maybe you're really good at creating. Oh, thinking, that's true, yeah. So um, maybe, maybe you're super good at thinking of ideas, but maybe you're, you're not good at executing them. That's so, that's so true. So everyone has a soft spot, so maybe you see people who, you see all of us who seem like we're really, we're, we're creative. Creative and funny. We, we all have weak spots whether it's like timing or, or like hitting stuff out on time yeah or getting stuff done or doing no, wrong projects or whatever if, if you feel stressed out it's it's easy to get burnt out and if you feel stressed out and overwhelmed actually step away you're not weak or whatever you're no, gonna dude. be weak if you fucking burn yourself I'll, out you can't wait for two you can't work for two weeks i'll say this if you're sitting at home beating yourself up every day because you feel like you're not a good voice actor if day after day then maybe you shouldn't be a voice actor maybe you could keep doing it but maybe you were meant for something else yeah yeah explore it's all not areas. to say that you why pigeonhole yourself there's no reason to pigeonhole yourself into a specific career the world has changed and the world constantly changed and by the way the world is it, it's a, it's certainly now is the time where you can change it allows you to yeah like none of us none of us are single singularly voice actors or singularly I mean, Jeff, you're, you're a voice actor who gives out an animated core, you're a fucking... You know, it is insane. weird. I'll you, say. Don't, you don't have to point at a star and say, I'm going to be a web designer for the rest of my life and lock yourself insane. into this. I will say oh it's my weird, God. though. Like I, this is kind of on topic, insane. but when you get to a certain age, where you sort of realize there's certain professions, you, it's just impossible. Like, I can't be a police officer now. I can't fly fighter jets now. Just saying. You could. That's the thing, Jeff. I like, can't. I probably can't. See, no, I got that you feeling you when I found out there was like 12 year old golfers that were getting better scores than Tiger Woods, and I was like, wow. I think it's all I'm you never could definitely ever be do a that. police officer because most of them are douchebags, and it's pretty easy <laughs> to get in there. Right? Right? You'd be the best. You'd be the most interesting be police officer. Pilot, though, is. Because your eyesight is bad. Yeah, my, my eyesight stinks, but I'm just saying, like, things people get into in like their early 20s and train hard, and you're just like, I don't know. It's just. You sort of cross that that bridge. You're just like, ah, I fuck I that. Guess. But this well, is I, the, the I, I, transitional I think, generational period yeah. where well, you I don't have to train hard for yeah. one specific walk of life. Right, right, right. I'm just creative, saying. Yeah. Stuff. yeah, you just got to break your ass some for all of them. Do, some people still do it stand for their stand. You're funny and like creative. Boring. You can do any number of things. Yeah. That yeah. also opens up the other creative. door where people think they are. Yeah, and it's not working out very well. With too much confidence out there that are worthless. You know what? And there's people with too much confidence that actually get really successful based. Based on them just, just being, being confident. confident. If you're if you're motivated and confident, you don't need talent. Yeah, no, but, uh, that's actually correct. But Jeff, like the thing with me is that I vow never to mouth. work in retail or fast food ever again. Wiener. I would rather be homeless and like okay, uh, jokes. Dude, I'm the same way. I would I'm rather I would.
would rather not have a job than Robert. just not work, like, work in any of those things. Apparently, Robert. 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 first you need your ADD medicine, and then you need to start working on it. I don't know how to do it. Yo, you know? Nile, hit me up. I got the hookup. Speaking okay. of What's ADD, uh, Dude Sab asks, for those of you who use Manga Studio 5, wait, who, who, who here uses uh, Manga Me, Chris, Zach. Yeah. I can't remember I who uses it exactly. Do you prefer to use the tools that are more like inks, markers, and pens, or do you prefer tools that are more like paint? Well, it's different for everything. Uh, you use the ink, you use the ink pens for like line work, and you use the like watercolor pens for for shading. You know Perfect what? answer. I, what about you, Chris? You know what? That's a girl program. Let's talk about something else. All right. Let's talk about whatever yeah. flash lines. <laughs> yeah, that's Jackie. Flash lines. Yep. Riley, Paul. Yeah. Ed, Ed, and Eddie hey, lines. All right, yeah. everybody relax. To be fair. Hey, yeah. I use flash lines, and they're. Shit. Bing. No, to be fair, that's what I do. Jeff's flashlines are really good. Jeff, 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 Jeff's flashlines are really good. You say flashlines? It's because he uses the pen tool. Alright, Riley Paul asks, what's the cringiest you've ever found on the internet? What? Uh, the cringiest? What does that mean? Man, me and Niall, we're gonna have a fucking. Oh god. Field uh, here. well, I helped found the cringe channel, um, which was, uh. Yeah, that's where me and you met. Yeah, well, actually, me and Chris met that way, and, uh, I, uh, did a website where we just we like basically we just stole videos that were cringy and uploaded them onto okay. it, and then like the guy I worked with he uh, wait you and Chris both did no this? No, no, no 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 it was just me you um, like funny but, junk but, but Chris liked it but yeah, like less popular yeah no 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 but it wasn't like uh, <laughs> he insulted the fucking century Jesus Christ that was brutal yeah, dude, that was brutal funny, yeah. funny, you like <laughs> you like a worse funny <laughs> joke God damn they put that, that, that cut that was like that cut a little deep. But uh, at the same time, uh, <laughs> I thought it was pretty like fucking true, true, but okay. Wait, wait, Nick, wait, wait, Nick, wait it's so true. I'm here. No, no, it's true. It is true. I'm just kidding. I was just like slagging Nick. But what, the thing that happened was uh, I started this uh, YouTube channel called Master Spaghetti. I got like 60,000 like subscribers or something. It was like n enough at the time. Then this other guy called, uh, he, he, he kind of ripped me off, he stole my videos, but uh, my videos were stolen anyway, they were called like, uh, I just, like I just stole them, like cringy videos, because I used to look them up at the time, and we called it Cringe Channel, and now, what um, was your definition of a cringy video? Just a video where it's like, really hard to watch, you need to pause it halfway through spot. to be like, oh my god. What are you that's, talking that's about, it. the cringiest <clears throat> stuff we've ever done? And then well, after that, um, no, they, Reddit- What's the cringiest thing you saw on the internet? Yeah, yeah, then after that, uh, Reddit cringe was made, or cringe, no, and uh, yeah, the rest. So why like, did you embrace the suffering of other human beings? At the time, no one else did that. It's and not all um, about people suffering. It's just about people uploading videos of their own. Like, like a lot of people just made what, videos what of it? themselves. They made asses of themselves. It was their choice to upload. It was their choice to upload it. Enjoy watching However, I do feel I do feel but ba the bad about it. backlash is their suffering, I know. and you contribute to that. So it's all <laughs> human suffering. Or you're promoting. Yeah, you gotta think of it both ways. I do feel that- no, 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 the promoting thing is not done. something that I- You know what? I think of it as bully, bully, and bully. I didn't no. do shit, I watched it, that's all I did! No, it's bully, it is bully, and that's why I didn't want to monetize it. Um, all but I then the guy who it. ran it with me wanted you to monetize it. You watch cringy it. shit. The, the most cringiest thing I ever saw on the internet is any video where I actually show myself as like a- Like anytime I do like my lip spank things or any kind of like update video where it's me. Uh, oh, truthfully, no, no, absolutely, I'm not fucking around. Like I literally get those are the videos I cannot well, watch. Well I can't listen to podcasts with me in them, so I guess I do. Yeah, the that. most yeah. cringy shit I have ever seen is uh, my my videos too. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. Anything yep. by yep. Rice Pirate, yep. anything yep. by That's Rice Pirate too. Meg. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. You look it up as a little bowl of rice. <laughs> yep. Pirate. Yep. Cartoon Damper, videos. you are you are absolutely hundred percent correct. My real answer listen, is also I, you're not gonna live fast next week, so there you go. Well I still got a week. <laughs> I, yep. I, I, yep, enjoy I, it. I saw a video where it was like a dude like these fucking like nineties glasses. Like, you know, I'm tired of you talking about oh, me. That video. No, no, we're done. Guy, we're done guy, with like, this. This guy like Jeff Dollar glasses here, this mustache. He basically. You mean like the sunglasses that you normally wear? No, the nineties glasses. Cool. Nice hoodie, oh. faggot. Anyways, <laughs> the, this guy. This guy called over like a realtor. Dude, dude. This guy called over, over like this chick. Look at his house. And he invites her. And he has like a real mm. the whole time. Yeah. And he's, like, I found that originally. Yeah. He's like. He's like so. Uh, he keeps like asking her. He's like basically. He's dragging her along. Oh my god! I, I was no, one of the original finders of this video. He has no intention. Absolutely no intention of actually buying the house or looking at it. Okay, so this guy, I've this guy, this guy looks like a '90s serial rapist. And uh, he, what he does That's is he goes. Harsh. <laughs> what he goes, what he does is he goes to like realtors that are women, and he tries to hit on them and. 
carry on, Zach. Yeah, so essentially, like, he makes, like, an Auschwitz joke at one point. She's just, he's kind of, kind of nervously laughing because this guy is a fucking, like, camcorder. So who's filming it? He himself. This he's guy, he's this this. He essentially. So how do you know what he looks like if he's, he's filming, filming he, himself? He, 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 he turns the like camera a selfie himself. stick. But wow, he, that is doubly cringy. But, but the right. reason he recorded this is because he thought he was picking up the woman. And by the way, at the very end, he, like, he lies about having a wife. He's like, oh, yeah, this is a good place for my wife and I. And at the very end, he's like, I don't really have a wife. And she's like, oh, okay, let's, uh. He gets super visibly uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I had to pause it probably 30 times. I couldn't watch all of it. I, I actually <laughs> originally found that video. That's it's, why it's... That's uh, probably the worst one. Look, try to look it up. I don't know what it's called. Um, that's why it's kind of shocking. Why do you go know. out of your way to watch it? Do you... I think a lot of it is to do with relatability. Yeah. Yeah, because like, you, you feel like you're that guy as well. Yeah, like, there's videos where I'd be watching it, like, where a kid would upload himself to, like, YouTube, but when he's yeah. 13, he'll make a complete ass of himself. Okay, and, we'll say and, the, and I, the spider. Yeah, is you, like, yeah you, you can sit yeah. there and be... Like, I looked like that kid. I could have been that kid. See, I had the internet years before. Dude, no, that is such horseshit. It's not horseshit. Dude, people watch cringe videos to say, "Look at what that asshole did." I'm so much well, better. Yeah, that's than he like is. definitely a lot of Hold it. On, but I'm saying that. But, I, but he's saying it's the I dodged that bullet. Yeah, there's a lot of. There's seriously. <laughs> I could have easily. There's so have been many that things. Well, I mean, like, that easily could have been me. Comedy bombing videos are funny because they're com the comedians are usually assholes and they deserve it. And you're like, yeah. You, you watch comedy. them implode. Is a lot of those. Yeah. A lot of those videos are satisfying because they're making asses of themselves. I want to wipe the screen of that man yeah. what it's hard, yeah, it's just really hard. I guess that's the cringe part. It's hard for me to watch. Yeah. But no, but I'll, 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 I'll say this too, like, cringe is like an evolved treat for sympathy. Yeah. yeah. Sympathy. No, it is, sympathy. it is the ultimate, absolutely. That is the, the biggest crock of shit. I I will, no! The reason why you sympathy? No, are you kidding me? If you cringe, it's because you are sympathizing with yeah, that situation. That's all it is. That has nothing to do with the fact that you want to watch it. I actually agree with that. I will say, no, I will say, listen, this is 100% serious. I feel like the time where I cannot watch something is when someone else is really uncomfortable in the position. Like this, like if some fucking creepy autistic is bothering someone who clearly <laughs> isn't interested, that makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Because that person's like, get the fuck away from me, but he's just, this yeah. idiot doesn't you, see you, any social cues. You guys have no problem watching these videos while I'm standing there. I don't, you know what, I don't, <laughs> I don't mind seeing an autistic implode on himself, and, but I do mind when said autistic is imploding on someone who doesn't want to see it. Because I don't know then, what you're talking about. Look, he's, he's this saying, is another factor. He's, he's saying he doesn't like the video wars. He's like, like Christian alone is. Yeah. Saying, he's saying the videos where yeah, it's Christian like, McDonald's like screaming okay. yeah, behind the If some like if some like creepy things. like like someone like with like toys and stuff went up, it's like I I really think you're pretty and want to give this to you, and the person's like get the fuck away yeah. from me. That makes me but uncomfortable. Another thing is I don't laugh at that stuff. Corey, I turn dude, that off. Like the first dude. time you watch like Chris Chan, that is the first like that you'll cringe the first time, but he's right? By himself. No, I know, right? But you'll cringe the first time, but then you'll watch the next thing he uploads because he uploads like 500 videos, right? So you'll cringe for every video because it's always new. But you'll be in trance. But then the next time, so you kind of just watch it to yeah, watch somehow it. Somehow Chris Chan transcends it's... this to me. I don't know why, but... Well, he's the same. You're guilty of that, too. He's, I, he's cringe, I'm still. not a fan of this stuff, but the, Chris What you Chan feel towards Chris Chan is whatever else feels towards other Chris Chan evolved into this, like... It's the like, same feeling. That satisfaction you get, the satisfaction genius. you get from Christian Chris Chan is what other people feel. Right. It extends further. Okay. So that's I think cringe opinion. is one of those definitions that's so up in the air. Speaking of cringe, look, Jesus look, oh, Christ, shut the oh, fuck up. Let's get to our next question. Can I, can I, can I, get to our cringy ass? Yeah. We never, we didn't answer. We didn't even answer. Can I bookend this by saying, I do think that some videos go super overboard and yeah, do get, totally. that's my drink, what are you doing? Yes. This is my drink. Okay, like sorry. that. Wait, sorry, that was your that was your last <laughs> statement. No, 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 no sorry, sorry, drink? sorry. So grab the cup anyway. So yeah, Chris Chan on one of your Chris Chan, the other end you the other end you have people uploading like kill yourself comments to some fat guy who's just doing movie reviews or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it, the, there's a huge Yeah, like I don't I don't mind it. seeing someone okay, here's here's another example. One last example, but I don't mind if somebody's clearly trying. If you see someone who's put their heart in everything, and if it's a little cringy, you can still look past it because at least yeah, but... in their eyes, they're actually like. <laughs> like Chris Chan tries. Really trying. Really, he really means what he's doing. A another thing about Chris Chan. That is, is such horseshit. You know, you take that video, link it to all your friends. That's and not true. Like a fucking loser. That's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It no, is. it is. Another isn't. thing. There's is. a gray area between somebody who is clearly out of their fucking mind and somebody who is actually. Corey, how do you even know who's out of their fucking mind? It's not Are just you black and white. I, I fucking hard. Harbor on the concept of autism. <laughs> it was my life for four fucking years. You think I can't tell the difference between an autistic who's imploding on himself? He harbors on, dude. That is amazing. That is exactly what I'm talking about. That's Corey. amazing. <laughs> that's, that's no, but you guys are forgetting the 
Chris Chris Chan's really mean. Bro, you proved yourself. What? You guys are forgetting that, that he's like Corey. That is the most poetic Corey. way of Chan saying where mean? you stand, by the Chris way, Chris Chan, okay, Chris That's Chan is racist. He deserves it. He's homophobic. homophobic, homophobic. A fucking douchebag. Well, yeah. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, one, he was raised so badly. So why pick on him? This is clear. That's nobody nobody's... picks on him. You're not you just we're watching. We're watching it. It's interesting. We're stiff, we're stiff, we're stiff, we're stiff. Okay. Hold on, hold on. You guys haven't been obsessing over him fucking slicking me Hold on, hold on. Let me say something about Chris Chan. If you were in a store, if you were in a store, you saw something like You don't think what you guys have been doing for years is picking on I will admit. How are you picking on him? Is yeah. anyone, please, tell me how this is different. I will admit that I did pick on him <laughs> back then, and I do feel remorse for what I've done. But I will also admit that now seeing the error of my ways, I can also appreciate the Dust. fact that he's made charming content. Corey, that's a really nice bar. Can, can I make this point? Yeah, no, no, no. Stop, shut up! I'll give you a hook. Shut up!